As database professionals, we know about things like schema, tables, database design, joins, normalization, etc. But your average customer just says data. I have a screen, I interact with it, I want to see some data. And as a result, when they're looking for things, they want to have a browser-like search experience, whether it's Bing or Google, they want the same thing in your application. I just type in a phrase and I don't care where it is, I need to know where it is. So the question is, how do we build something like that, knowing that under the covers, data could be in tens, hundreds, or even thousands of different tables. We've made something in 23C, which makes that entire process much easier. I'm gonna use our new API in DBMS Search to create an index called Big Search allow searches across the big domain of my entire database. What I do now is I choose which tables are going to be candidates to have search facilities on them in the, the ability to find a phrase within those tables. So in this case, I'll just add scott.emp and then I'll add scott.dept as well. You'll be able to search for anything that appears in those two tables. So what's gone on behind the scenes now that I've created that index? Well, there's a table called Big Search. If I describe that, you can see there's a couple of JSON columns plus some other metadata columns as well. They're gonna hold the contents of our facilities to enable search. But there's a lot more going on behind the covers. If I go check out the user tables and see what tables are related to this Big Search index, you can see there's a whole stack of them. The fact that they're prefixed with DR dollar gives us sort of a hint, the fact that we're using some of our existing tech search facilities to enable this Google-like or Bing-like search across the entire database. So let's drill into it into this big data table. If I select the metadata column, you can see what I've stored is effectively an entry for the primary keys for the various tables that have been added to my search index. They're gonna be useful for drilling down into the unrelated content later. Now you might be thinking the data column contains all the rest of the data from the tables. That would be perhaps problematic because if I've got 10 terabytes of data I want to put a search facility on, do I really want to copy that 10 terabytes into another table which I'm then gonna put an index on? And you'll be pleased to know we don't do that. If I select the data column there, you can see it's actually null in this case. The search index itself stores all the phrases that you need to search for in the index structure, not in a second copy of the data. We've kept the space utilization as efficient as possible. So if the data is not in the table, how do I get access to it just to see what's actually in this index? We have a routine in the DBMS Search API that lets you explode for a given key what's actually inside the index. Once again, it comes back as JSON, and you can see for this example, you can see all the columns of the scott.emp table are stored in the index whilst not being stored in the big search table itself. So now that my index is built, how do I search for things in it? After all, that's the driving requirement here. Well, it's a JSON text index, which means all the normal JSON search facilities that are available to you in the Oracle database can be used here. So for example, here, I'm searching for the phrase king, but within the bounds of just the ename column on scott.emp. Now that example doesn't seem much different to a normal predicated search. I was looking for a particular phrase in a particular column, in that case, ename. But it's much more flexible than that. What if I want to do just a generic phrase search? In this case, I'm just searching for the terms salesman or Boston. Now we know that that really means a job of salesman or a location of Boston, but the text index doesn't care. In this case, I get rows back for anything that matches the phrase Boston or salesman. Because it is a JSON document, the normal dot notation can also be used. I don't have to go hunting within the metadata. I can simply do the dot notation to get the key and the employee name once again for any search condition. But of course, be aware, unlike most other elements of the data dictionary inside Oracle, JSON fragments are case sensitive. So if I was to repeat that same query, but this time I didn't get the key and the employee number in the right case, I'd actually get no results. That's just a JSON related facility, nothing to do with the text index per se. But since the metadata contains the primary key information for every table I've put into the big search index, then it becomes trivial to go get the rest of the data. I can simply extract the primary keys given my predicate or my search criteria, and then simply join it to the base table in any way I see fit. In this case, I'm joining on the employee number to get the rest of the information from the source table, scott.emp. And the best thing is this index isn't gonna have a large impact on your OLTP performance. If I insert a brand new row into the department table, and now I immediately go and query my text index, you see I get no rows selected. 
That's because this information is being updated asynchronously. It's being kept out of the loop in terms of your transaction processing overheads. If I wait a little bit longer, then yes, now I can actually get the result I wanted. Because it's done asynchronously, your transaction rates will be fine and the text index will always be kept up to date in the background for you automatically. So I've done a video in the past, which I'll link somewhere up here, about database-wide search facilities, which I built from first principles. Now with 23C, it's just going to be a few calls to DMS search and you have this wonderful user experience of just searching for phrases anywhere in the database without knowing about the underlying database schema layer.